Hi guys, for today's class we're going to do by Makeup by Grant, we're going to do a full glam look. So this is for the Lisa Brown International course. So we're excited to host Makeup by Grant for today. So he's going to show us how to go from this to this. Okay, so jumping right into the video, I like to start off with the brows first. So I just fill in the brows wherever I feel it's needed, where any sparse areas are, and I'm just filling that in. Then I just take a spoolie and just brush through the brows. Now I'm taking a flat concealer brush with a little bit of concealer, and just using that to clean up underneath the eyebrows. Make sure you keep the brush flat to the skin at all times, just to make sure that it's as precise as possible. And take your time with this part, you want the brows to be nice and crisp. After I'm done cleaning up underneath the brow, I use the same brush with a little bit of foundation instead of concealer. And then just repeat the same steps on top of the brow. Then just blend any harsh edges with a beauty blender or a brush. After the brows are done and you're happy with them, then you can use some primer. Taking a brush, I'm just blending it all over the face, making sure not to forget the neck or the ears. Blend it all over. Eyeshadow time. Okay, so now we start priming the eyes, either with a MAC paint pot or a little bit of concealer and just blend it out with a fluffy brush. Now with the very light brown or your contour shade, you can start defining the crease and I'm just blending it all over the crease, making sure there's no any harsh lines. With a smaller fluffy brush, I'm just using a medium brown eyeshadow just to define the outer corner of the eye. And make sure you blend, 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 no harsh lines. Now I'm just taking that same shade into the crease with a flat eyeshadow brush, just so that the crease is a bit more defined. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. You're gonna hear this all throughout the video. <laughs> blending is very important, so just make sure that your blending is seamless. Then just using the same brush we used to define the crease with a darker eyeshadow, and then defining the outer corner a bit more, keeping it close to the lash line. Then you can go ahead and take a little bit of concealer, not too much, and just start to cut out your crease. After the crease is cut, you can go ahead and take the same brush that we used for the light brown eyeshadow shade and just diffuse the outer edges of the cut crease. Then just set the cut crease in place using a light cream eyeshadow, making sure that it's a matte shade. Now that the eyeshadow is done, we can move on to skin. So I like to use a big fluffy brush to blend the foundation all over the face, ears and neck. And don't forget to blend it deep into that hairline as well. So now using some concealer, I'm putting some between the brows, a little bit down the nose, a little on the top lip, on the chin, underneath the cheekbones, and of course, under the eyes. Now I'm just using a brush to blend out the concealer, and I'm transitioning between a brush and a beauty blender to make sure that it's a seamless blend. Now I'm applying some contour on the cheeks. I'm focusing the contour at the top of the cheekbone so it gives us a facelift effect. Then I'll also do a little bit on the forehead, not too much, make sure to blend it into the hairline really well. Don't forget the jawline, I also like to put a little bit on the chin as well. For, so for the nose contour, I don't like it too dark, so I'm just blending a tiny bit um, down the nose and connecting it into the eyeshadow. Now using some translucent setting powder with a fluffy brush, I'm just setting underneath the eyes to prevent any creasing and I'm also setting the brows with some powder as well. Lightly setting the face with some powder just to mattify. Now just using the same shades we used earlier for the eyeshadow and then just smoking out the lower lash line. Making sure to focus the darkest shades in the outer corner. We didn't film it but make sure to apply some mascara as well. Now using some bronzer, I'm taking that and warming up the face, just to give it that sun-kissed look. And 
and now it's time for blush I like to put it nice in the high to give that facelift effect and I also put a little bit on the nose and the chin as well now using a liquid or a cream highlighter I like to highlight the high points of the face to give that glowy look I like to put a little bit of highlighter on top of the brow bone as well as the inner corners of the eyes I just love a glossy lip so finally we can apply some lip gloss in a nude shade and voila the look is complete I hope you guys loved the video and thank you so much for watching.